All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about like the. It was supposed to be only a three minute break. Got caught up playing with the cat, then got a phone call from parents, mom specifically, and then after that, someone redeemed another ad break. So there's that. <laughs> I only made it one minute because I was almost wrapping it up, so it's fine. All right, move the BRB, and let's move on. Actually, wait. Real quick, actually, it's such a minor fucking thing. Such a minor thing. But this is mainly for JKO, all right? That happens to me. No, it does, it does. Like, that's adorable, man. But JKO, for you? Discord. Since you're one of the people I talk to about this, and I'm pretty sure I haven't talked to you about it in a while. Progress reports. But with that out of the way, let's go back to this. You can do the rare bear affair right now. Actually good to do right now. I mean, we could farm the bear. We could. And it would be good money actually. It'd be pretty good money. And what's this? Nagar Boon is destroying our box of supplies in lush woodlands. What? Looking at that request, Newbie Adventure wants to slay some monsters for them. Have you seen the wooden box on BF1 in the lush woodlands? I don't know what you're talking about. Remember, that box contains items that a veteran gifted to the newbie. Of course, I haven't seen it myself. Unfortunately, some angry baboons got their hands on it, and they're hell-bent on opening it. Why don't they take care of it themselves? <laughs> well, if they could, they wouldn't be a newbie now, would they? <laughs> mm. There you have it. They'd like you to go and take care of those monsters. The box is located here. Destination marker has been added to the map. I think there's so many setbacks. I get you, man. I get you. It shouldn't be too difficult if you fought, fought one of those baboons before, but keep your guard up just in case. Because I certainly couldn't come rescue you. I was out in the lush woods when I lost my precious, uh, mozzarella. What? <laughs> oh, did that request catch your eye? You're in luck. The guy who made the request is still here. You should talk to him to hear more about it. Makes it easy on me, because I don't have to give you all the details. Yes, I'm in luck too. Call it a win-win. Then Rare Bear Affair. Monsters drop materials that can be used to forge powerful weapons. Set weapons are now in high demand. Please gather the materials for me. Amrita. Another quest, right? It's from Napier's firm. Go ask Miss Napier for the details. I'll let me relax a bit too. She said this request could be a bit dangerous. Be careful out there. If you die, you won't be able to spend all your money at the ta at my tavern. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now go get yourselves nap to nap your sperm. Slim man? Hmm. Where or oh, where could they be? Where is the one who accepted my request? Oh. You there. Hey, over there. Over here. Are you the ones who accepted my request? Yes. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> ah, I've been waiting for you. So you're the adventurers headed to the lush woodland, am I right? And you know about my darling little mozzarella, right? I just know it's out somewhere out there in the lush woodlands right now waiting for me. What I'd like to ask you for the is to please tell me where it is when you find it. Oh, mozzarella, I hope you'll forgive me for en endangering you. Mozzarella should be near the water source in the lush woodland, so please, focus your search around there. I'm sure you'll notice the plum little fluff ball right away. Well, I say plump, but I would mean that it's shaped like a lovely sphere. A mossy sphere. Why? One look and you'll be able to just entrance by that adorable sweet little... <coughs> uh, please, let me know when you... Uh, when and where you find mozzarella in the lush woodlands. Alright, then we have more people here too. 
Hmm, there's no sound sweeter than the heavy jingle of a full coin purse. Oh, who might you be? Are you adventurers? What a coincidence, I am as well. Ah, gathering sure is great. Found this one area I go back to there every day. I'm making bank of this place. Take, chop, mine. You know that stuff, right? If you see any spots that allow for that, make full use of them. Hey, you there. Do you know what's the most dangerous part about going into the labyrinth? The monsters? Nope. Made like structures? Wrong again. The most dangerous part of any labyrinth is yourself. Don't get overconfident just because things seem to be going your way. In other words, be sure to double check that you have an Arian thread before heading out. That was nothing short of a near-death experience. Do you know about the bears in the, la in the lush woodlands? Whenever they get in front of those trees that block the pathway, they're guaranteed to attack them. The trees are split apart with super loud crack. And the once blocked path is now wide open. If you're having trouble moving around, just get the bears to clear out the trees for you. The stream keeps dying around for some reason. I'm not dropping frames, so I actually don't know what that is. I'm sorry, man. Ah, damn it, right arm still hurts like crazy. It's gonna be, Emma, it's gotta be from that big roll I ran into while in the forest. I never would have guessed that tackle of his would paralyze me. That's one scary move. On top of that, he even managed to hit the gunner who was in the row behind me. <laughs> um, this is no time to be laughing. Damn, this hand won't stop aching. Not even a connection. Ah, gotcha. That sucks. Ow, oh, I screwed up again. Look at this wound. I'm ga a, gaz a gazabi. You probably guessed as much. But I'm an explorer. And a routine victim. Those monsters out there are seriously no joke. Get as much intel monsters as you can before you head out. It'll keep you from being caught off guard in the heat of battle. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I just remembered. Rollers aren't the only monsters that Agri Boons will team up with. I've seen them collaborate with Big Rollers, too. The worst part is, Big Rollers have a paralysis attack that reaches all the way to the back row. That's how I ended up like this right now. It's a miracle I got out of there with my life. You'll be careful out there, got it? Why, hello there. I am Dr. Silby. I study monsters. This is my assistant, Fatten. Just as you adventurers seek the thrill of the unknown in the labyrinth, so too are we scholars driven by the pursuit of knowledge. The result of our research will no doubt prove useful to you as well. As we've only just begun, we don't have anything to share at the moment. We'll let you know once we do. Please stop by again anytime. What do you got? Have you ever encountered a massive owl? Monster in the forest? This creature is known as, by the name, a ghost owl. Its steel gray beak is quite a valuable prize, but the lightning wielded by the owl often burns the beak, causing it to lose most of its value. There's one simple trick to acquiring the beak before it's damaged. If one defeats the ghost owl while its head is bound, the transmogrified beak will be obtained with nary a, scor a scorch upon it. So break the head, gotcha. Well, there goes your hint. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm a guy. Welcome. Oh, ah, it's you. How can I help you today? My request? Yeah. Mm, I'm an utter fool. I've already started to see Rare Bear. Rare Bear. But I completely forgot to rescind my request. <sighs> that being said, you were indeed the one to bring me those materials. Which means you've earned the reward. You can retrieve it if you, uh, from uh, the seer. Seems my bustling business is often more cursed than blessing. Oh, all right. So thankfully, there's the in-game explanation for, like, she was so busy that she forgot to rescind it, even though, like, she was like, I should have saved money. Fuck. But since we were the one to bring it, like, fine, you get the reward since the job is still up. Well then, looks like it's time for your report. Another job well done. You're doing me a real favor here. So done, eh? I bet soon enough everyone will be telling each other, Ed to confess for the request. He'll get it taken care of for you. Guests will start coming in droves and sales will shoot through the roof. I dare say this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Oh, but don't think this means you'll get special treatment. Nobody drinks here for free. Anyway, I hope that Red Moon Guild keeps coming back for more. Here's the rewards. Amrita. 
Hey! Levels! 800 experience as well, goddamn. Beautiful mechanic. Even after completing the request, you don't have to turn it immediately. If you want, you can save them and mass claim them to level up some weaker party members. I actually just thought about that. Say, I was gonna comment like, wait a second. Couldn't I just bring in someone else? But no, I autopiloted press aid. You can swap teams. Yep. You should press. But you thought they have that. Yeah, I. We all just. I just kind of thought about that. I'm like, wait a second. Ah, shit. But just auto did that. I could have brought in the other team and they would have leveled up, I think, maybe once. But, alright, Ilya. Let me go to. Sorry. And. For level 14, you wanted Fortify 1. Alright, finally getting this. This is your physical elemental defense for three turns. Alright. Then Axel. Corkscrew, one, two punch are done. So now we go to Adrenaline Double Taunch since you got Chop Up already. So I'm gonna say Adrenaline then, I think. Because my hope is this thing could be self-sustaining. I just have like this little hope that maybe one, two punch can be like attack and then just Adrenaline will let you get back by the user's attack restore TP and it can be free. Switching my name, Adrenaline, nope. We are not, not yet at least. Kind of with a ton of luck, yeah. But we have a lot of luck, right? Tragedy. Tragedy. What would you like? Since you weren't refreshed, and when I thought you were gonna get line heal, there's a lot of things you can apparently just swerve me around. What are you gonna what do you want now, tragedy? Scavenge to increase the drop rate of monsters. Had bash. Patch up. Restore some HP to the entire party after battle. All right, even more. Oh. Motorm, the sovereign that holds the team together for the moment. I legitimately cannot think of how we would be handling this dungeon if not for Motorm and the like passive healing of Royal Vale. It's stupidly good. I know Motorm gets hit and it doesn't heal at all. Yeah, Motorm has to be at full HP in order to do the passive uh, regen every turn. If not, we just are SOL. The entire enemy bind it, but good luck getting that to ever happen. We got two out of three one time, so it almost can work. And you said freeze arms. All right, we have all the elements now. And that's everyone. Let's rest and get our TP back. Alright. So first area, nothing here is needed. B2 floor one right here is something. After that, floor three, or no, floor two, was it? For the moss sphere? No, it was here. Yep, this. Mossy sphere. Alright, wanna visit the first place? The first lab? There was nothing here, I think. I don't think we have a quest here at all. No, the ruins. Eastern Shrine? 
There was nothing here at all, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was nothing. Boss drop and then leave. Oh, fight the boss again, you mean? I mean, we can. Might not be too bad. That's that boss information now. I guess you're right. Wait, no. Actually, these two strides I don't think actually had a... Yeah, this thing didn't have a boss. Oh no, wait, you're right, the... that one plant, right? Forgot about that. Can we go at it from the magnetic air... the magnetic thing? Or not? Oh yeah, it's there. Yeah, bosses do response. You can just farm them. Still gonna taunt. And let's see how far we get with just attacks, alright? Well, just attacks, and I am going to uh, guard order the front. Just to see. It's weak to fire. Ain't that a good thing. And apparently weak to leg binds, I think. Gonna low blow it then. Intense in death. Oh, that little tombstone looking thing next to the next to that with the with the X, that's instant death. Alright, firearms then. The amount of bindings you do, I forgot how excessive it was. We don't need to firearms, but I'll do the attack order just because I want to try and beat you faster. Yeah, we progressed far already. I don't think it can hit the back row yet, so, or at all, so just we're fine. That's the one thing we gotta worry about. Okay, that wasn't me. All right. For a second, I thought there was a knock on the door, but no, it's not my place. Keep attacking, guys. We got this. Oh, 
So Eliza's getting real close. I may just like spend the TP to heal you. It's cheap enough. There we go. For another level one thorn and four sixty experience. It's pretty good, actually. Just to get the boss drop. Oh yeah, could it do? No, no additional drops. Yeah, I didn't show anything over there. But now, this area, we've got some stuff to do. You arrive at the location of the box, preparing for battle with the angry baboons. You then spot a monster tearing into a wooden block. Tell me what you're after. Are you prepared to for a fight? If so, then you may engage the creatures in battle. We fight. You swallow dryly and ready your weapon. But the monsters notice your presence, and their eyes lock onto you. Before they can strike, you run towards the beast. Weapons drawn. Just two normal monkeys. We're okay with it. They're not weak to any element, so it's fine. Just attack order the us. Ah, but that still hurts. Now we're good. Don't worry about any more TPs. It's just auto and we're gonna win, I think. Boons <laughs> let out a screech and they fall to your final strike. You completed the newbie adventure request. Upon inspection, you find that the food once contained inside the box has been reduced to mere remains, but the box is still in good shape. After cleaning the inside of the box, you head off to report the quest completed. Because we've used so little, we honestly are okay to just travel back and forth now, I think. Hey, good work! Hey guys, glad to hear you took care of those baboons. Why, just a few moments ago, the fresh young adventure came by. Completely thrilled about being able to use that box. <laughs> Adventurers helping one another in their journey through the labyrinth. It's so touching, I just might cry. Oh, did you know that box was once used for tossing out garbage? The nitrous tossed an item they didn't need, and a new enter came across it and put it to good use. You know, that what they say, one's man's trash is another man's treasure. No! <laughs> is that true, you ask? Well, how would I know? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's the reward. Good work out there. Fresh uh, feather coats. Eliza's almost leveling up. There's the feathered coats. Eight defense and 14 match defense. That's not bad, actually. Considering how low your defense is, I'm gonna grab give you this then. 
Oh, also, for the pugilist, I'm noticing that you're still wearing that same default 5-5 five, five one. Alright, we need to find fresh water and the mossy sphere. I think all of I think both of them were the same place, right? This thing. At least I think so. Marked fresh water on floor two, did I? I put this, I think, for free heals. But I don't know if that was fresh water. That may have been the water. We'll go, we'll go to floor two and floor three then to see. We'll start from the beginning. At the very least, there's take spots along the way. Until we knock quest water. We're still going to check it out. If there's anything, a heal is a heal. And a heal is always useful. for that takes over there. Nah. We're gonna get the other ones when we go deeper in here. Alright, maybe I'm gonna want the fight to happen here soon. Oh, there was no fight. Alright. Just run through, don't care about it all. Granite, and by using the mind skill, cyanite. Yep, the free heal memo. To which we don't need it, but Motorm could use some TP, I guess, so. Find yourself standing in front of a water stone basin once again. This isn't it, but I'll get it. Once the challenge requested invoking looking for a clean source of drinking water. This water basin should be sufficient enough to report it. Alright. Scoop some water into the jar and screw the lid it. Alright. Tasty water. So no, we got it actually right there. Good to know. What you do now is deliver the sample to the barkeep. You should stop by the tavern next time you find yourself in the town. Yep. The basin is nearly empty. Luckily, water is still tickling in. It should be full again if you uh, check back in the day. That mind, we move on. What are the odds? Oh god! Really? God damn it! That's not good, apparently. I know, right? <laughs> and now Motrum was hit. to do that just to heal you. Then I'm going to guard order the back row just in case. Talk to him a bit. 
Dead. Come on, Eliza Seven. All right, I'm actually going to get the gather up here. Right. I'm actually gonna take control of this, even if it's just auto attacking everyone. Something scares me about just like if you hit auto, everything's gonna go horribly wrong. Totally irrational, but I get that feeling. from the mon? Really? I have to find out which one, I guess, because I thought there weren't any conditionals around here. There we go. Eliza. And now for that, I think airstrike and arm blade were to go to two, so that works out. I'll double check to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what you want. Upper stance to max, air blade and arm strike to two, then upward slash to max. This is what you're going to want to max next. Raffle soon? Mm, I don't actually know. Because we're not exactly in need of new units at the moment. But the free experience and still classes to know. I mean, true, yeah. You're right about the extra classes that just can get more experience. And Twig and Teakwood. We discovered that. Alright. Alright. Yeah, Shocked Bug Eyed. And this thing does not have a conditional. I'm gonna go with a new shock arm, so why not? Never mind. They go before Motorm. Damn it. 
She didn't need them before. Only now is it starting to come up. You peer at the uh, source in front of you and see that Mossy's fear is still there. That's when you recall someone asking you to find their mozzarella in the forest. When you think about it, you're currently by a water source and the moss is just a sphere circle described. <laughs> wow, it's so cute and round. What? You're still with the party? Here, this is mozzarella, the moss ball that the client was talking about. Once you mark the spawn on your map, all you need to do is turn to the tavern and provide your client with the location. All right. You have your party members with you. Return to base camp at once. Wait, I need to do that. Uh, I need to go back them. Wait, so we've just been carrying them around this entire time? <laughs> so I went through three separate dungeons, slept in the inn, the store, did three other requests. The entire time Marco and Oliver were just like, dude. Are we gonna stop by somewhere? I'm like, you slept, you're fine, we're fine. God fucking damn it. <laughs> While they bleed on the floor, yep. I was gonna say, let me just use the RN thread. Weak lap, discover materials. Discovered sturdy timber and teak. What the fuck do you mean? Oh, this could be rough. Oh, this could be very rough. You go style, find his head, then kill it. Yep, we are already told that, but let me actually, this could be awful. Wait, hold on. They're not weak to anything. You're not, you're resistant to everything. Airblade damage to... Yeah, you're right. Actually, I forgot about that. Claw sever. We'll do it on your on its own so we can, like, measure that. <laughs> 141. All right. Yeah, 141 non-crit. That's not bad at all. Now, unfortunately, we have to bind the head of the owl. No, we're doing about 115, one a little bit more than that sometimes with a crit. Either the lot though. We're gonna try right now actually to see. Dead defend actually. We gotta bind the head. So if you don't bind the head, don't attack right now. Alright, I already did it. Why not? 
run our way out of this place already because I have to. Alright, Grass Cedar, Jaw, 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 Huge Tail Feather, and Bound Beak. Alright, new stuff. Wait, no, this is weird here. I don't want to use an item, even though I already have an extra one that I found. Just no need to. Is it weird that I want to fight Cutter just to get, m yeah, just to get money or something? <laughs> So this is just everyone go all out. It's not worth any of that stuff at all. It's resistant to insta kill, but not like not immune. Of course, stuns happen. God damn, that's annoying. That's one of the only things I don't like about it. And let's see him a cloth ever on him. might one more of these to try and just hope Eliza might die but that's okay we can come back from that a bit yeah down claw sever so you have reduced attack I'm just gonna keep on using that as like our main thing now I may put a uh, guard order on the back and that's about it Oh yeah, I like this dead. Of course. There's no longer debuffed in any way. Taunt again. More 
Head bash, and now we force. And now guard, guard order on everyone. Arm sealed, nice. Well, that's not gonna do much good for you. After that, we're gonna do this again, why not? You know what? Let's go Airblade, why not? For comparison damage right now, but also head bash and attack order for everyone. Yeah, 139 with the crits. Alright, almost dead. Not do another attack or er, attack order. Alright, gotta remember, gotta defeat it with Eliza. Are still bound or no? They are not. Guard. Guard. But this should be fine. Yeah, but Airblade kills it. Anything like this kills it. There we go. Back to town. If they're gonna, if the if the NPCs are stuck with me, I'm gonna make sure they're stuck with me for a while. I show them the daily life of an actual adventuring group, not just two people calling themselves the group. Nine hundred and fifty-nine. Goddamn. Owl staff. Strix. Claude, Makiri, ring mail, wooden hairpin, tar a new shield, Targe, giant ball necklace, smart earring. What are all these? Let's go by category here. So the owl staff is a special staff imbued with the Volt spell, adorned with the owl's beak at one end. Volt strike. Ranged Volt Attack to one enemy. Yeah, it's just a normal electric spell. It looks like it can be, uh, it can apparently just be increased with other things, but I don't know how. Unless it increases with pluses. That's my guess. Yeah, forging. So if you kept on farming the owl, you would be able to get the better version of all this. All right. Interesting, but I don't know if we would... I mean, that would be a good one to put on Tragedy, I think, just because it would give him something offensive to do as well, to make sure that everyone can DPS in one way or another. It would also bring your attack up to 51. Magic, yep. Also, Moltorm? I mean, Moltorm could also use it, too. All 
All right, Glacia Spear is another one here, which also uses Tail Feathers for more luck. Dagger for HP, but we can actually make it now. Same with this thing. Uh, this for agility up. No idea by how much, but it's something. It would be not as good as what we have right now, admittedly, but agility up. And at this point, actually, I'm not sure if it's agility or hit rate that she would want. And I think vine grab arm would probably be better. Or at least I would probably want to use that more, maybe. It's like a better weapon anyways, but... <laughs> The wisdom I don't see being necessary at all. Actual accessories. Alright. Increases, uh, increases the user's intelligence and TP. And this just gives paralysis resist. Alright, nothing too bad at all, but not that we're going to use any of that. Alright, in terms of just heavy armor... 14 defense and 8 magic defense. Honestly, pretty good for the moment. Raw physical defense. For the feather coat, we've not got another huge tail feather, so we cannot make another one of these or just have one. The shield, though. Technically, even this Grassima Eater shield was good, but I didn't think three points was worth it. But now, it's enough that I think it is worth getting a new shield. Yeah, we can afford this and the new shoes. So I dare say it's worth it. Because I'm pretty sure I've said it a couple of times, and you guys, I don't know if you follow the same philosophy. Tanks in any RPG are some of the most spoiled units I will ever have. Is they make sure that we don't die, and I'm a fan of putting every investment in the not dying category. What is that? For luck. I... Mm, I'm always conflicted on the luck stat in any game. I feel it's... It's like crit some other stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> I want the hair. Why? You don't need a hairpin, Demon Eradicate. Do the Skya tank. I mean, that's because in the Skya, it's... Actually, no, that's not correct. In the Skya, we have used tanks before. In the early games, we would use someone that's just a HP sponge. Bear 5 was actually a pretty big one at the time, and then you got to counter, so that was even better. Luck affects ailment rates. Oh, okay. Gotcha. In that case, yeah, you're right. For this, it would work. Now, the problem, though, what would you give up? Would you give up your vitality, Axel? Everyone wants a hairpin now. Why does everyone want luck? Hide armor. What? You would give up on your defense. Actually, wait, no, it's just better. I can imagine, in a realistic scenario, the Pugilist walks up. He takes off his hide armor that he earned in battle and just says, give me the hairpin. Sticks in his head, and he's just as defensive. Nothing. He actually is now more defensive, and I do not understand it. That's disgusting. No, hold on. There's one thing I need to buy first and foremost. After it was pointed out and I saw that we could use it... I need another fawn hoof, but I would give you my, the fawn shoes. Mm. Not from someone? I mean...
てさて、何のご用かの I'm sorry, tragedy. But now there's an interesting thing. This rabbit amulet. Okay, it only it gives agility and HP. Now maybe do we get rid of the buckler and just give her this? She loses defense, admittedly, but she gains act speed. I actually think that might be a worth it. Make her speedy. Alright, so the medic is owed an upgrade, and we will deliver on it. The question is should the medic's upgrade be that staff? I'll curious first. Actually, yeah, you're right. That should go first. Make the tank even more tanky. Get some HP on top of it. It is just an upgrade, but there goes our bank. We're down to 249. We can afford to get another hairpin. I need to sell some stuff or else I can't sleep. Slightly restores TP. Oh, all right. Actually, wait, yeah, you're right. Hold on. We have stuff that we need to turn in. Let's do these first. I don't give up on the task, but we need to talk. Wrong person. <gasps> you finally found it! Please tell me where it is. Touch the map to indicate where it is. So that's the spot. All right, I'll be back in a flash. Oh, my adventurous saviors. I find, I found it. I found Mozzarella. This is such a relief. Even in this new land, you're still with me, Mozzarella. With this, I can continue my thesis on moss that grows in the woodlands. Thank you so much for your help. The tavern owner has your reward. See you later. All right. Hey, welcome back. Sounds like the guy was real handful. Oh, one handful is enough? Why, I completely agree with you there. We've just got to get him to shut up and we'll be right as rain. Oh. Alright, I'm finding a lot more of these things and I don't know where they come from. There's a concerning trend right now. Remember how I told you guys a while ago that I came home from the gym one day and Yubi had knocked the door off its hinges? And now it's hanging by only the top hinge and screw? I have all the screws that's supposed to go to the door on my table right here. 
And I could see them. I have all four of them. And I just found another screw on the floor, which I don't know what it's for. Nothing is breaking, but something somewhere is missing a screw now. So that's concerning. I know five screws and only one of them, only four of them, I know where they're from. Your chair? I, it better not be. Your desk? Again, it better not be. Actually, no, no the desk uses a different kind of screw. This is like a solid or a standard screw. It's got no paint or anything on it. It's like a standard screw that you would, like, I, I think just put into a wall or screw into stuff, but I, I don't know. There's no marks on it about it. So I gotta deal with that later. Huh. What are you clenching your fists? What are you gonna do with them? No! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm the other handful? <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you earlier, but that man is a botanist, especially in algae. I guess you know that now. Well, I knew you'd find the truth eventually. I was just testing you. <laughs> what? I just came up with that excuse, you say? Well, aren't you clever? Here's a reward. See you next time. Now you have me more concerned about you? Oh, don't worry. I'm concerned already a lot. Volt Talisman times three, whatever this is. I forgot. Fuck. <laughs>